Y'all keep asking me, y'all man, what's the build you were using when you were playing against the best lock on 2K? Yo, KP. That man is a real lockdown, a real general, dog. This is the build I was using against him. I was using gold playmaking. You see the build is unstoppable at 99 overall, dog. If you know if you dribble and you know what to shoot, you cannot be stopped. Double team them, don't matter. Everything is green being as, as long as you're not a sellout, dog. As if it's a sellout, guess what? This build might not be for you. Psych, it's even more cheesy than a play shot because it has a pure sharp three ball. Hold on there, hold on there. Did I mention that I have 30 shooting Send badges it. on this build? Yes, 30 shooting badges. Let me tell you a short story. An old head pressed me a food stamp last night while we were trying to get a funny post scoring video. Tyrese Abram said, Just like y'all man, 230, tell him don't edit out the negative. PSN Watson kill. Tyrese Abram, are you proud of this, fam? Mr. Abrams, you are proud of this right here. Nah, you got it, big dog. I don't want no smoke with nobody that's proud of this right here, bro. You got it. It's one thing y'all man gaming don't do is y'all man gaming don't want no smoke with no Park Hall of Famers, bro. Because Park Hall of Famers are worse than drippy face can kids. So, Tyrese, as you wish, your wish is my command i didn't edit so the next video but you know what hopefully you get a million subscribers off of this anyways you see my play sharp gets a 99 three ball and 30 shooting badges but what you're looking at is a real play shot a real play shot does not compare to the real play sharp that i just made a real play shot only starts off with a 25 shooting badge maximum capacity and it only starts off with a 91 three ball max capacity it also only starts off with a 54 dunk and in order to get the clay thompson's you have to start off with a 55 dunk so before i actually show you guys how to make the play sharp i need to show you guys that even when you glitch the height and put it at the same height that you will have the play sharp at you will still start off with a less three pointer and a less shooting badge capacity the only thing a play shot has over this build is the fact that it has hall of fame playmaking that's it because you get the same speed acceleration and you get the same ball handling for the most part the play sharp starts off with a 93 three ball and the play shot starts off with a 91 three ball with minimum wingspan as you can clearly see starts off with a 54 dunk but my play sharp starts off with a 55 dunk. oh by the way it does get 27 shooting badges off rip compared to a play shot with just 25 so it's clearly the better shooting build at 99 overall with two arm sleeves you'll have a 99 three ball on the play sharp on a play shot with two arm sleeves at a 99 you'll only have a 97 both are overpowered don't get me wrong but i found my own little build and if it if i could change the name title to a play sharp i feel like it would be valid and i think if you have common sense you will agree with that anyways enough with the bugger talking let me show you guys how to make the play sharp real quick real quick this is the final improved version of well i will say almost the final improved version of the build because i need to get that arm sleeve today at level 31 to make it 99 three ball yes a 99 three ball on a build that's not a pure sharp that's why i call it the play sharp because you get the same three ball as a play sharp when you buy boost with a 99 three ball right without boost you still get a 99 three ball on this build so you do the math but you can do things a play sharp cannot dream of as you've seen i just hit that crazy dunk you can dribble like crazy you can shoot from like pure sharp distance without having takeover you can pull it from anywhere i'm so comfortable with shooting with this build where i can pull it from anywhere fam and i'm not gonna lie these new sigs i got on right now i've been going crazy with i just started using them the other day and you can make whites from half court that's contested as you just clearly seen right it's insane play sharp is crazy if you got some some nice dribble moves or some nice combos the gold playmaking ones will feel like gold playmaking on this build let me show you guys exactly how to make this build Yardman Gaming is going to teach y'all to make the play sharp, the playmaking sharpshooter. To me, this is what this build should have been named. Because you start off with a higher three ball than a play shot, and you start off with more shooting badges than a play shot. You do get a 94 ball control at 99, but it's only goal playmaking. So to me, this is pretty much a, a, a sharpshooter build that can dribble. Like this is, if you want to make a pure sharp, make this because you get 30 shooting badges if you put plus three on the 27 and you get a 99 three ball when you put plus two sleeves the plus two three-point sleeves on your on uh, your player so you pretty much become a pure sharpshooter but with the ball handling of a play shot and as much playmaking badges as a play shot that can still dunk really good like a tall play shot so i'm gonna show you guys how to make the playmaking sharpshooter that's why I'm calling it this because it just makes sense. I'm not calling it a playmaking slasher because I'm not slashing on this build like that. And it has a 99 three ball with 30 shooting badges, bro. Four finishing does not cut it for slashing. This is a playmaking sharpshooter. 
I wish, I wish 2K would have kept that name in the game for builds like this because it's, it's very different than a real play shot. It's a better shooter than a real play shot. It might not have the Hall of Fame playmaking like a real play shot, but it can still move like a real play shot. If not, like it's, it's really up to you how you get open. Just because you have Hall of Fame playmaking don't mean it's going to save you. All right. Anyways, big up on the self and let's move forward. This is the this is the build right here. A lot of y'all already figured it out. This was my Wukong build last year. If you guys remember my secondary Wukong build where it was like gold playmaking and it was a three point playmaker shooting from half court. This is the build I use against um so moving and shifty and everybody last year. D boy. This is the build I use. But I made it way different last year than this one. This one does not get park dunks like the one last year did. But I'm glad I made this one this way because you're going to see like it's just like a real play shot and it can do everything a real play shot can do, but shoot better. Because at 99 on a play shot with two arm sleeves, you're going to have a 97 three ball. On this build, you get a 97 three ball without two arm sleeves at 99. With two arm sleeves, you get a 99 three ball with 30 shooting badges if you put the plus three on there. But you start off with 27 shooting badges compared to a play shot that start off with 25 shooting badges at max. Now, you don't need all those shooting badges. Trust me, you don't. You really don't. All you need is like a good 14 shooting badges to hit consistently. But if you want the overkill for the three, 30 is just like you can't complain about it, fam. And you get it. <clears throat> you get enough playmaking off rip with this build. So it's going to be up to you how you want to do it. I'm just showing you how I did it. And I have two versions of this build. One with sharp take, one with slash and take. Y'all have only seen a sharp take one. If you want to make the slash and take one, just do the same thing I did right here. But put slash and take everything you're about to see. Because to the best of my knowledge, once I get to a 9 to 9, I'll be able to get park dunks halfway in the takeover. But that's just the build for fun. The one that I use mainly and for comp that I'm going to war with is the one that you've seen me going to war with recently. So anyways, let's move forward. Speed pie chart, because at 95 overall, you have a 99 speed, 99 acceleration. Trust me. These are the attribute systems I went with. Now, a lot of y'all already know that don't ISO. You're not going to want to put up any of these. Like if anything, I would just leave the dunk up if I were you. I would leave the dunk up because you can get good dunks on this build. The Clay Thompson's the, you know, you can get some good dunks on this build and finish. You don't want to just be one dimensional with layups and getting that stuff beat. But if you know you're not going to be dunking like a lot or you use screens, put your defense up, bro. Me, I know I always have a defender on the court, so I don't care about that, bro. This is an offensive machine. So immediately you see I got 27 shooting badges off rip. That's two more than a play shot gets off rip. 21 playmaking is the most you can get. But if you really wanted more playmaking, you can just add those extra badges to the playmaking instead of the shooting. I went for the overkill and went for the shooting more than the playmaking because with 21 playmaking, I'm able to run gold floor, gold tie handles, and run all my badges that I need to run. To me, 21 is more than enough. Finishing, I went with four finishing because I want a gold limitless takeoff and it's already shown you guys that it's it's very useful. I actually you guys haven't seen it yet, but gold limitless takeoff on this build basically turns it into a, my BP build that's like five seven. Dunks the same pretty much. So anyways, this is what I went with. You can mess with attributes however you want, but this is what I went with, bro. Alright. Now I did drop the, the mid-range down a bit, you know. But you don't have to do that. You can do it like this. I wanted to see if I can get another name title. That's the only reason why I did it like that. But if you want to put this on the steel, you know, you can do that. It's just going to be up to you, bro. Do whatever you want to do. All right. Do however you want to do it. I'm not going to blame you, bro. This is your build. I always go with compact. You can go with slight if you want. But to me, I always go with compact. For the height, 172. Make sure you glitch the height, though. So go all the way down and go all the way back up. And then put the height on 172 so you can get the better attributes. Drop the weight all the way down because you're not playing rugby, you're not playing a football. Like, this is not wrestling. I just showed y'all the real play shot version, what it would look like at the same height, same wingspan. You get minus one on the dunk and you get minus two on the three ball compared to a, a real play shot. Like a real play shot does not compare to this three point wise. You get more shooting badges off rip and you get more shooting attributes off rip. I'm already at what a play shot. My three ball is already what a play shot will be at a 97. I start off at that immediately. And I get a 99 speed before I even hit 96 overall. Go with minimum wingspan. 
Now, if you go all the way up on the wingspan, you can get 60 dunks, but there's no point in doing that. You still get a good three ball, but you're making this for stage purposes, right? When it comes to the takeover, I have two versions of this build. You guys have not seen the second version yet, but the second version does get slash and takeover. Yes, I have a same. I have the same build, but I have one with slash and takeover for fun purposes. I wanted to see if it can get, you know, part dunks like halfway in the takeover and stuff. But to be honest, the way I played with the sharp version of it, I don't even need dunks, bro. Like I dunk already. So it's like. I don't know man you can't you can't play the build a certain way like because it's gonna score every single time offensive wise like it's overpowered if I want to shoot I'm gonna shoot it's OP now like I said unfortunately they call you a play shot but in my opinion if I could change the name title I would name it a play sharp so I'm naming this a play sharp just to add some more flavor to it because it really is different than a play shot it does not have Hall of Fame playmaking and to me a play shot has to have Hall of Fame playmaking to make it a real play shot Anyways, big up on myself. Big up on my mics. We don't care nothing. Uh, Jeeva on the Don't Know the Tank already. If you want to see what this build can do and more, just check out the previous video and subscribe to see the future videos. And also check out the streams. Twitch link in the description. Yardman Gaming, gone.